Hey mom, it's Joe. Just want another little video on how to use your iPad. Today we're going to talk about um, getting your email. So basically, um, all you need to do to turn your iPad on, of course, is to open the cover. I like to flip it over here, put it in landscape mode, and you look over here in the corner is a little uh, envelope. Click it. Boom. There's your email. So just like the just like uh, it looks like on a Mac Mini, you have um, your emails listed here, and then whichever email that you have actually clicked on should also be the one that you see. Well, this is the same thing. Should be um, listed in the main window over here. So that's how you get to your email. Now, once you're done looking at your email, how do I get out of this? Well, to get back to uh, the main screen, see, whoops, my hand is over here, little button way over there. Okay, all I have to do is click that button, and I am out of the email program. So, and then to turn the, the iPad off, I just close the cover, and it's off. That's it. Okay, so obviously you're going to want to do more than just uh, look at your email. You're going to want to be able to do something with it. So, let's say with this uh, email here, um, let's say you want to get rid of it. Okay, so how do I get rid of it? Up here in the corner, you can see four little tiny icons. There's a square with a pencil. That's how I edit a new one. There is an arrow, and that's how I reply. And then next to it, a little trash can. And then next to it, a little file folder with a down arrow. So let's say in this case, I want to get rid of this email. I hit the trash can, and the email disappears. Okay? So that's how we get rid of the email. Now I got another one that looks exactly like it. Let's say I want to reply to this email. So to reply to this email, again, you got those little icons up in the corner. So here's the whole iP iPad, upper corner. If I want to reply, I'm going to hit that arrow, and it'll ask me, do I want to reply, forward, or print? I want to reply. So I hit reply. Just tap it. And then up will come the email with the uh, whoever it was from is already in the to box over here. And then your email address is ready to put in here, right in that line. Kind of hard to see. And then the subject is the subject from before. And then you notice the cursor blinking up and down. So when you start typing, that's where the message will appear. Typing. See, there's a message right there. OK. And then when you're done, when you want to send the message, then basically you click the Send button. Okay, so if I hit send, it would send that message. I'm not going to do that. Let's say I didn't want to do that. Uh, so I hit that cancel button, and I'm deleting the draft. Boom, we're back to our main stage. Okay? So let's say we sent the email. You don't want it in your inbox anymore, uh, but you want to save it, because this is important information here about shoes. Um, then that requires this folder icon with the arrow. And when I click it, what will happen is, It'll reduce the size of the email. And then the focus is over here on this column here. Where do we want to save it? Now, you can add, I believe, another, well, no, I don't, think, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So if I want to save it, let's say I'm going to put it in computer stuff. I just click it, and boom, it's gone into computer stuff. OK? So that is how to reply to an email. And then, um, and we also showed how to trash an email. And we showed how to store an email. Right? So let's go ahead and close this, and we're done. Okay, so um, not only do we probably want to respond to email and store email, we're probably also going to want to send our own email. So again, I'm launching the email client there. Sorry again about the, about the um, glare. And again, in our corner there, I'm going to pick the very first little icon, and up pops new message, right? So you can see the cursor is already blinking in the to folder. Using the typewriter down here, I'm going to start typing out who I want to send this to. And then, of course, it kind of guesses who it is. And I'm going to pick one of these email addresses. And it fills that field up there. And then, of course, there's your information there. And then here's the subject. I went ahead and just clicked it. You saw I just clicked right on the line. And then, no, I don't want to paste anything. Let's say hi. OK. So there's a the subject, and then I click right below it, and you can see it bouncing, bing, 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 right? So I'm going to say hello. 
there's my message. And then once I'm done with my message, now it automatically put that sent from my iPad. You could put any other message you want to put there. You hit send. And boom, message away. Now the one interesting thing that happens also is that um, it will automatically send the message right back to you. And there it is. Sent, so it sent it away and then it sent the copy back to myself like I'm CC myself. And if you want to save it, remember how we saved it? Go over here to the folder, makes the message a little smaller. And then over here, it's all the different places you could put it. Let's put that in the family area. And there you go. So that's how you send a message is you just, uh, once you're in the, the, the program, go ahead and hit that little box there for our new message window. Pops up. Do your typing, hit the send, and it sends it away. Really simple. And then, of course, once you're done, click this right here, and you're out of the, you're out of the mail application. Hey, Mom. Okay, so we're getting used to using the email application here. So sometimes when you get an email, it's not enough to just save the email. You want to do something, well, one of the things that I'm thinking of specifically is whenever um, you get sent um, an image that you want to save, um, one of the easiest, here's the easiest way to do it. So let's select an image here. Isn't that a lovely picture of me? So you just hold your finger over the image and then up comes save image or copy. Well, in this case, we want to save the image. So I click it and it's saved. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and store that lovely email. Let's get rid of it, put it in the family. Okay, so what happened to the picture? Well, I'm going to go out here, back to our little guy down here, and you see along the bottom the flower pot. Well, that's where our photos are. So that image, here's photos that we put previously into your um, iPad. And when I click over here to the camera roll, there is that gorgeous picture. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so um, that's how you take an image from your email and store it somewhere else where you can actually see it more often or it's a little bit more easy to see. So, there you go.